know, I, I never want to paint Jesus because I, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't want to detract from your personality and your persona. And then one day I was searching throughout the pictures of Jesus and I couldn't come across something that was decent to get that feeling of, hey, this man loves people. I, I, I couldn't see it. And so as, they, as, as one day I was thinking of this matter and meditating on it, I got this picture in my heart. I need to paint him and have that expression of peacefulness, expression of calmness, of love, not judgmental look. I think art can be a means of declaring the gospel. Art can be a means of loving people and opening a door for them that they may one day allow Jesus to come in. So, what do you think it is? I just want to tell you, he is very known really? worldwide. Uh, <laughs> 2.5 <laughs> billion people know this guy. Yes. Good job. I said it. Did you? Yeah. I'm here. I'm sorry. What gave it away? Uh, I got it off of the hair. Really? It's the hair. It's the hair. Yeah. It's the hair. Yeah. Well, what was the facial? The facial. Do you know him personally? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's cool. That's really nice. I know, I like the But whatever God has given us, God wants us to use it to magnify, glorify, and to really to declare and make Jesus known because we live in a day and an hour where not many people know him. And so I think being in a public place like this and using this what God has given me, I think it's a means for God to use it to let people know that Jesus loves them and cares for them. Yeah. It was the oldest brother on Seventh Heaven, and then he was in, I think, Brothers and Sisters or something like that. So that's who he reminds me of. Have you seen the Third Heaven? No. What is okay. that? Okay. <laughs> well, there's only three heavens, you know. Okay. So the first one is this one right here, okay. atmosphere. Okay. Second one is above the atmosphere. Okay. The sky that you see at night. Okay. Third one is where God is. God. This is God. This is Jesus. No way. Yes, way. Well, that's a beautiful painting. That's incredible. So look at the eyes and tell me what you feel when you look at those eyes. They're definitely soulful, and I feel they feel peaceful yeah. and loving. I can see they're loving. They're loving. Yeah. Do you know him? And kindness. Um, I do not. Not him personally, but I know God. Yeah. You know God. Yeah. But one thing, he loves you so much. Oh, this guy right here. He does. He definitely does. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. What do you think? Who do you think this is? Do you want me to be honest? Yes. I think it could be Jesus, but I might be wrong. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Okay. That's it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely right. Well, when I rounded the corner and I saw this, I was like, oh, I think this is Jesus. Yes. Great. Do you know him personally? I do. You do? Yeah. Is that right? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Now what, what gave it away? 
What gave it away? I think I would say like the eyes. The eyes? Yeah. What do you what do you see from the eyes? <laughs> There's like kindness. Yeah. Yeah. There's absolutely kindness right. there. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. There's love coming out of me. given us so many tools. We have television, we have radio, we have uh, spoken words, we have written words. And I think uh, if we can express it through art, express him through art, and make him known that way. It's interesting, a lot of people that I talk to, they have not put a foot in a church setting or watched any sort of television program and that's very interesting that we we'll reach out to a category of people to a select group of people where normal church setting will not reach them normal church means church tools preaching television radio books will not reach them but art can so to God be the